God's blessings to you as we gather for our weekly reflection on faith, justice, peace, and community. I pray that these reflections might stir within each of us a greater desire to come to know the God of love, beauty, mercy, justice, and peace. Seeking to be spiritually fed in order to better honor God's love and faithfulness to us in the ways that we care for ourselves and for each other. My brothers and sisters, this coming Sunday marks the official end of our church year as we celebrate the Feast of Christ the King. The following Sunday, we will again begin our journey from Advent to Christmas, through Lent and Easter, and back again to another new year. But this particular Sunday focuses us on Christ our King, whose throne is a symbol of torture, a cross. As Jesus so often challenges the world where power is embraced in money, power over others, and selfish ambition, through the cross, he challenges that power with the power of selfless love, total self-giving, unrelenting mercy and forgiveness, infinite compassion and a promise of eternal life. Jesus the King is also Jesus the Kind, caring deeply for those who suffer the injustices of worldly power and lovingly challenging those who exercise such abusive power. Jesus advises us as his followers to imagine the kingdom of God that could exist in our world if everyone claimed their full dignity and blessedness as a beloved child of God. I particularly love the way that spiritual writer Gerald Daring captures this. Listen to these words. The kingdom of God is a space. It exists in every home where parents and children love each other. It exists in every region and country that cares for its weak and vulnerable. It exists in every parish that reaches out to the needy. The kingdom of God is a time. It happens whenever someone feeds a hungry person or shelters a homeless person or shows care to a neglected person. It happens wherever and whenever we overturn an unjust law or correct an injustice or avert a war. It happens whenever people join in the struggle to overcome poverty, to raise ignorance, to pass on the faith. The kingdom of God is in the past, in the life and work of Jesus of Nazareth. It is in the present, in the work of the church, and in the efforts of many others to create a world of goodness and justice. It is in the future, reaching its completion in the age to come. The kingdom of God is a condition. Its symptoms are love, justice, and peace. We recognize Jesus Christ as our loving King. We pray each day that God may free all the world rejoice in his peace, to glory in his justice, to live in his love. On behalf of the Catholic Christian family here at St. Agatha, I want to thank you for all the ways you continue to allow the Lord to work through you, with you, and in you. We hope you will join us this Sunday for our Masses in person at 8 and 10.30 a.m. or online at 8 a.m. and available online afterward. No matter in person or online, we hope to see you there. Thank you, and in all things, be blessed.